Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to the third installment of the Out of State Property videos. It's November 4th. Um, I have four awesome properties that I want you guys to take a look at. We will start with the first one, which is a Burger King single tenant triple net deal in Valdosta, Georgia. The reason I'm, I'm showing this deal and highlighting it um, is because this tenant has been in this location for 23 years and uh, they've been operating out of the location for 23 years. They're signing a fresh 20 year lease until 2040. It's offered at 2.261 million at a 5.15 cap. Built in 1997, they've done redone the entire thing or they're actually in the process right now of redoing the entire facade. Kind of similar to the Wendy's I, I sent out um, last month. Demographics of the area, you are within a five mile radius, about 67,000 people. Um, you have absolute triple net tenants responsible for taxes, insurance, utilities, roof and structure. There are zero landlord responsibilities. And in addition to those uh, parts of the lease, there's also a 10% rent increase every five years and during the options. So you start at a 5.15 cap and it gradually goes up. Um, this is an amazing uh, alternative or option for some of you apartment owners who are looking for a very secure uh, good cash flow, strong tenant type deal out of state um, where you're basically just clipping coupons. Highly recommend this one. Um, we'll put some, some shots of the aerials up here, um, but you're on a street with about 30,000 vehicles passing per day uh, next to like a Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, what else you got? Best Buy, etc. We're going to pivot real quick to apartments. Here's a awesome 20 unit apartment complex in Phoenix. Yesterday was election night. If you guys were watching the news, it was talking a lot about Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona, which you guys probably know I'm very bullish about, um, is the fastest growing city in America right now. Rental growth has not stopped during the pandemic. It's actually, rents have gone up. Phoenix is the number one economy in the US at this point um, in, in November of 2020. Um, so here's a 20 unit apartment complex that was recently renovated. They've done an excellent job um, you are located just north of the 202 loop, which is kind of a commuter's um, route, and it really can take you east, west, north, south. This is in a very, very good location. You're next to Papago Park, Phoenix Zoo. You're about five minutes from the airport, 10 minutes to Old Town Scottsdale, five minutes to Tempe, Arizona, and then 15 minutes to Arcadia. I mean, really, this is a central location. Uh, very, very um, good apartment deal. I mean, you're, you're priced at a five and a quarter cap. If I was to tell you that you could get something in California renovated at a five and a quarter cap, you'd probably laugh. So look, the yield is there. The, the work's already been done. You're in a, a market where there's tons of rental growth and huge demand and tons of population migration continue to happen. So this is a, a deal I wanted to show you guys. Deal number three, this is a Walgreens. Walgreens is a monster tenant. They're doing exceptionally well right now through the pandemic. Um, the reason I'm highlighting this deal is because they've been at this site for 25 plus years. Walgreens has been operating out of this building for 25 plus years, and they've just signed a fresh 10 year lease through January of 2030. Um, this is more of an affluent area. That's another reason I wanted to show it. You got within a three mile radius, there are approximately 200,000 people with an average uh, household income exceeding 100 grand a year. Um, also something to note, this is on a hard corner, so you're on a corner location um, for potential redevelopment, you know, for some reason if Walgreens decided not to stay. And then also on that hard corner, you have 30,000 vehicles passing per day. This is investment grade, triple B by the Standard & Poor's um, credit rating system. Um, this is actually double net, so it's not absolute triple net. There are some landlord responsibilities such as roof, structure, and parking lot replacement. Um, this is offered at 3.833 million at a 6% cap. Uh, generally, the double net lease deals have a little bit higher cap rate. That is to uh, take into account some of the capital expenditures an owner might take on. Um, so you got an insanely high six cap, you got 230 grand in net operating income coming in, built in 1995. Awesome deal. Last one I want to show you is um, in Washington, a no state income tax uh, location. This is kind of Seattle, I'm going to say, actually closer to Tacoma. 
Uh, this is in Bonnie Lake, Washington. This is brand new construction, 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven is one of the few. In fact, it's probably one of the top 10 tenants uh, available right now in the net lease space. You have A minus investment grade, uh, excuse me, double A minus by the S&P credit uh, rating score. Uh, this is brand new construction, 2020 built, offered at a four and a half cap at 5.1 million, 15 year lease with four or five year options. You have seven and a half percent rent increases every five years. And within five miles, you have just about 100,000 people uh, in this location. We'll pull over to some of these aerial shots. You're right on the corner, um, corner lot here next to a Costco, Target, Laos. Um, what else you got? Pizza Hut, various retailers. I mean, this is a, a great place for a gas station with a 7-Eleven convenience store. Anyways, if you'd like to look at more of our inventory, please let me know. We have access to the industry's largest nationwide inventory, and it's very, very beneficial for clients who are looking to consummate 1031 exchanges and get out of their California apartments into maybe something a little bit more passive uh, with potential a little bit more income. Uh, drop me a line, give me a call, shoot me an email, whatever, I'm happy to talk with you guys, thanks.